Hey, uh, Patrick, this is the second game in a row where you guys have had just tough luck, you know, on a goal early against you in a game, and you've responded really strongly. How important is that, you know, to, to do that twice in a row, you know, considering some of the things that you guys have gone through this year? Yeah, I mean, I mean, I mean for us as a, as a line, uh, obviously a tough first shift, tough bounce. And, uh, you know, I think we just need to uh, lead the way, and that wasn't, wasn't the right way for us. And obviously got a huge, uh, huge goal next, next shift, got us back in the game and kind of started things rolling from there. Yeah, and, you know, I wanted to maybe shift to the third period really quick. I want to get your thoughts on Cole Sillinger's goal, uh, how big that was at that point in the game, and then also his decision to pass that puck to you to put in the empty net. Yeah, well, obviously the goal was was huge for us. Um, get the get the two goal lead back, and can't say much more about the goal. I was just uh, pretty gassed, so I couldn't even see the goal. But uh, I'm, I'm sure it was a good one. And I think it just tells about about him as a as a player and as a as a guy. From you know, he usually could have shoot that shoot that empty netter, but wanted to give it to me. So I uh, I appreciate that and I, I remember that and uh, try to return the favor someday. Yeah, last one for me is just uh, you know seeing the puck go in the net, no matter whether there's a goalie there or not. How much does that help you? We've talked to that about that before, but. Does that encourage you to, to you know keep firing shots and, and get as many on net as you can? Yeah, I mean, I mean, I think that's always the reward if if it goes in, and always try to put some put some pucks to the net, and uh, especially tonight, um, you know, they've had some tough luck with their uh, with their goalies, so we just wanted to you know shoot shoot as many pucks as we can, and I think that was I think we could have put up put up uh, some more shots, but that was that was enough for uh, tonight. Next, we go to Jeff Go ahead, Jeff. Uh, thanks, Todd. Thanks, Patty. You kind of mentioned there uh, your goal to come back and get that goal early to, to tie it up. I mean, but just what did you kind of see there and just how important of a moment was that to just stem the tide and get things going back your direction? Yeah, I think it kind of reminded me of the play we uh, we made against the Rangers, the first one off, off the rush. And this time I just wanted to shoot it. Saw, saw a little bit of an opening. Um, on the short side and just tried to hit it and um, happy, happy obviously went in and it was a big, big goal for, for us and our line after the, you know, going down one. But uh, yeah, it was a good, good goal for us. Yeah, I think one of the things you always kind of say in interviews, even after a good game, is you got to keep it going. Uh, you guys are able to keep it going tonight. You know, first time you guys have won consecutive games in I think two months. Uh, just the importance of finding some consistency and uh, you putting together two in a row here. Yeah, I mean, we're in a we're in a situation where you kind of have to win, win games, and um, especially now b before the break, it would be would be great to get three in a row. But you know, it's it's not gonna get any easier easier tomorrow. But uh, obviously, happy about happy about tonight's two points, and just you know, go home, get some rest, and uh, attack Florida tomorrow. Yeah. And the last thing I'll ask, just a little curious. Uh, I think all four goals in the first were kind of scored off the rush, and you got some good bounces there. But was that a focus of of trying to take advantage of that? Maybe a little bit in transition as this game got underway. Mm, yeah. I mean, I thought we were we were pretty good. Uh, you know, getting the puck up pretty quick, and we saw that was working. So we just kept kept doing that, and obviously paid off in the first pretty well. And you know, you gotta. You got to look out for those chances on the ice and kind of the weaknesses of the other team and just try to exploit them. And I think we did that in the first, and that was, uh, you know, enough to get the 4-1 get the lead. Next, we'll go to Mark Shai. Go ahead, Mark. Thanks, Todd. Patrick, you know, Brad Larson's message recently has been shoot the puck, shoot the puck. And I know you were doing that tonight. Cole Sillinger's goal, he could have easily passed that on the 2-1-1. On Do you feel like that the team is really embracing Larson's message to just shoot the puck when you can? Yeah, I mean, I think we can still be more direct. Um, I think there's a lot of a lot of guys that have really good shots, but they're still looking for, you know, better opportunities for, for other guys. And I think it would be fun to see those guys, you know, put it put in the back of the net too, since this, since they can and they're able to. But I think we've been we've been doing that pretty well uh, lately, and 
you know, the more shots, obviously, the, obviously the more chances of, uh, of getting goals. And, uh, you know, we've been able to score five and six now. So uh, hopefully we can just keep that going tomorrow and sh uh, shoot some more pucks.